Hey, this is a solution for if you are including Bootstrap version 3 in your application, you've downloaded the files and you've included them, but you're still getting squares where you should be getting icons, like the camera icon or the photo icon. So how do we solve that? Well, we already know that you've gone to the version 3.3 documentation and downloaded Bootstrap, and you unzipped that zip file. So we go over here to where we have it unzipped. We have a CSS directory, and you probably even pulled that CSS file over into your application. You'll notice I took the CSS folder, put it into my application here, and inside of it, I just include the minified version. So I took out all these other versions, and then I linked to it in my gallery.html. So that's where we ended up here, but now we still have squares. Okay, so how do we fix that? So if we go back over here, you'll notice that we didn't take the fonts or the JS. So that's actually pretty important. So we want to take fonts, copy that folder, go over here, and paste it in. Now we have CSS linking to our bootstrap.min.css file, and we have fonts with all these glyphicons. So if we go to our gallery.html file, and we open it up in our code editor, we have our bootstrap linked, right? Look in the current directory, the same one as this file, find the CSS directory, and then go inside of it and find the bootstrap directory. So if you have that in place, and you have the fonts folder living adjacent to, right next to the CSS folder, and that's all adjacent to the gallery.html folder, or file rather, then when you have all that updated and saved and you go refresh your project here, then you'll get these glyphicons. So that's how you include glyphicons into your Bootstrap 3 applications.